Hi guys, in this video we'll show you how to replace or install a heater core on Volkswagen Passat B6, B7, CC, Skoda and Seat in, in 18 easy steps. Let me tell you when should you replace the heater core on Volkswagen Skoda and Seat. When the windshield and car windows fog up with greasy water. When you don't have heat in the car. When the coolant level go down and you have to add more often coolant to your car. When you find coolant on the carpet under the driver's or passenger's feet. When the electric radiator cooling fan does not work properly, I mean it starts even when it is cold outside and there is no need to cool the engine. And of course when you remove it and notice that it's broken. This is the old heater core that is Denso and this is the, the new heater core that is also a Denso heater core. Heater core that is the same brand you can find your heater core clamp and gasket set in the video description below. Buy a heater core denso as well. And second, buy a heater core clamp and gasket set. Don't use the old ones because they are worn and the coolant might leak. And here we have the heater core clamp and gasket set that you can find it in the video description below. So here is a Volkswagen Passat B6 from 2010 with a broken heater core. You can see that the coolant is all over the carpet on the driver's side and also in the back on the passenger's side. Tools that you need T15 Torx or a 5.5 mm key wrench a T30 Torx or a 10mm key wrench, a flat blade screwdriver, a hose camp clamp plier, a, heater, a new heater core and a new heater core clamp and gasket set. So first open the hood and disconnect the negative terminal from the battery with a 10mm wrench. If the carpet is soaked with coolant, put something on the carpet to prevent the liquid from passing through and getting you wet. You can find Torx tool set like this in the video description below. Unscrew the bolt from the driver's side panel using a T20 Torx. Slide the driver's seat as far back as possible and then pull the plastic down and then back to remove it. Remove those three bolts from the plastic panel above the bad pedals using a T20 Torx. Remove the plastic panel and take the OBD2 diagnose port out using a flat blade screwdriver.
remove the dash storage from the left side. Remove the footwell distribution plastic thingy by removing a single T20 torque screw. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Remove the plastic cap from the heater core using a T15 Torx or a 5.5mm socket. Remove the screw from the aluminium part using a 10mm socket or a T30 Torx. Then remove the cap from the coolant tank to release the pressure. Remove the engine cover and disconnect the cables from the mass airflow sensor meter. You can use a flat blade screwdriver if you don't if you don't manage to remove it with your bare hands. Also detach the hoses from the air intake hose. Then loose the two clamps from the air intake hose using clamp pliers and the flat blade screwdriver. We didn't have a clamp pliers, so we used it used another tool. Then 
there is the, the bolt, so you need a flat blade screwdriver to loosen it. Then remove the end of the small hose using a flat blade screwdriver. It is held into grips at the bottom and top. Then take the hose out. Then remove the clamps from the coolant hose connectors using a flat blade screwdriver. There are the hoses. So you have to use a flat blade screwdriver to remove that clamps. The first one you just have to slide it on the left side of the car so it, it will be your right then you can use your hand to remove it remove you can remove one or both coolant hoses to create more space for removing the screw between them So here is the screw. You can remove the second clamp by sliding it to the left side of the car. Cover the air intake with a plastic bag so that the bolts are or other tools do not fall inside. Remove the T15 Torx screw between those two coolant pipes. Remove the clamps from the two heater core hoses using a T15 torso or a 5.5 mm socket. There is an easy way to separate those pipes, to cut those two pipes from the heater core using an electric saw at a distance of 3 or 4 cm from the joint with the other pipes. If you bought a new set of heater core clamp and gasket, you can take the old ones out.
To disconnect it from the pipes, one person must go outside and pull the two pipes from the outside and another one will pull from the inside. You have to be careful because about 4 or 500 mm of coolant may flow so you will need a container in which to collect it. Do not insert the screwdriver between those two lips of the pipes, you will only bend those edges and it will be much more difficult to put the clamps back. Attach those heater core pipes and then take the heater core out. You can find new heater core for Volkswagen Skoda and Seat in the video description below. After you take the heater core out, remove those two plastic covers from the sides and install them on the new heater core. Feed the new gaskets on the new heater core pipes. Install the new heater core and connect the pipes. Then follow the steps in reverse order to put all the parts back. You need another person to help you connect the pipes from the car to those from the heater core. One pushes the pipes from the outside and the other one from the inside. If it's difficult for you to connect those four pipes together, then you can grease them with some Vaseline at the ends where the gaskets are. When you have to attach the clamps, make sure that both edges of the pipes are covered by the clamp. You will know that when it's easy to bring the ends of the clamp closer using your fingers to put the screw back. Attention! The clamps must be mounted in the same position as the old ones, otherwise when fixing the plastic cover back of the heater cover, it will no longer be fixed correctly. If you have any suggestions about new tutorials, let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.